Good evening. Good evening, YouTube. I want y'all to see this beautifulness. She looking good. Probably would be calling stuff female when it's doing good. I wanted to show you guys. Uh, get started on converting the fire pit to a raised garden bed. I'm so sorry, y'all. So this is what's left of it. And this is, it's becoming. So the idea, yeah, excuse me, just came from across the way. I wanted to get this in before it got dark. Um, so, yeah. I was going to go longer. But what I decided to do was really good. I decided to do was do one this direction and then here in the middle make a long one and then enclose it with one the same size on the other end. And what that is is just making um, good use of the space because it's it's a little narrow space in between what's going to be something else and something else but it's uh adding space for gardening so yeah so the same size as that one is going to be over here which is right beside the grapevines. And so in between, I'm going to make one that goes long ways. So it's going to be narrow and it's going to be probably double. Like put two of these together and then some, and then that's going to be in the middle. And then another one of these over there. Yeah, so in the process of disassembly and only had a few that could fit. So now that I have the dimensions of this one, I actually wanted to get some dirt in it before this week so the seeds can get in the ground. But hey, what this reminds me of is what they call succession planting. You know, you don't plant all your seeds at once. You wait for a little while, and that way your harvest is stair step or something like that. Something like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But yeah. And so I will keep you updated on the progress. Um, I was only going to go too high, but that's still bending. So I'll probably come up a third high in all of the YouTube videos that I have watched. You know, look at look at this right here. Um, all the YouTube videos I've watched, they said make sure you put some rebar in like the corners when you go at least three high. I didn't make that for you, Booty. Hmm. Yep, I got some. Um I got some clamps down. And then I couldn't really hurry up because what I want is to do is put some boxes and some stuff in here. Had I realized it, I had picked um, from around the tree uh, all this dirt. Could have put that at the bottom. Had a bunch of weeds in it, but hey, what is it called? Filler. And so, anyway, just wanted to share that with y'all. Work in progress. Um, we're going to stop work for about a week. 
and relax. This is the, I don't know if y'all have ever seen it, but this is the cat garden at night so far. Added another collar right here since this one is so beautiful. Right there. I decided to add another one so it can, you know, be more fuller across the front. So, yeah, that's the cat garden. And these babies are blooming. I don't know what they are. I think last year, I don't know if I put wildflowers in here. I had put some flowers in here, but they didn't grow. But I guess they're growing now. And the cat is in the garden. But, okay. But just wanted to give y'all an update so far. So, I was looking at somebody's page, and collars are a perennial, right? So, they just grow all year, and they keep coming back. Now, the facts are more probably grow because the little yellow things are just all over the ground, which is fine with me. You can always get you a good meal of collars and some beauty. Yes, I just enjoy driving up and seeing this yellow right here. So, if I can put them all across this front right here, I would be happy. I would be happy, happy, happy. Anyhow... Y'all yeah, enjoy your Tuesday evening and good night.